Well, yeah, it was a strange one. I mean, I wasn't playing in the, in the game. Um, so I arranged to meet up with Jermaine Genus, who, who was also injured. Uh, so we, we met up at the training ground to travel down to, to West Ham to, to, to watch the game. And he said to me, have you heard everyone's ill? So I said, no, no way. But it wasn't until we got to the stadium, <clears throat> went into the changing room and, you know, there was no life in there. You know, people were sitting there with their, their head in their laps. Uh, and that's when I realised, you know, this, <laughs> this is going to be tough because it should have been a, a great occasion for us to try and go there and, and, and get a result to, to finish in the top four for the first time. But, you know, that, that change room had, had nothing, nothing in it. And even the ones that, that had to play, uh, there were some that couldn't play, there were some that had to play with uh, food poisoning. And you can imagine what it's like you know, when, you feel, when you're not feeling well, you've got food poisoning. The last thing you want to do is be running around. So, you know, I had a lot of respect for the players that went out there and had a go. But I think we, yeah, we had nine, nine or ten players that were, that, that were really struggling that day. And uh, yeah, it was just it was typical. It was typical that, uh, you know, I was hoping that the game was going to get called off. You know, it, it, we end up losing in, in the end. But, I was, you know, I was proud as, as a captain of a group of players. I was proud that players went out there and, and gave it a go, even though they was really struggling. But did it just feel at the time like you were destined to finish below Arsenal? Yeah, because... Every single year. How did it feel yeah. that disappointment? Yeah, it was getting to a point where, you know, we was closing the gap on Arsenal because for, for most of my career, Arsenal were, were, were levels above, above Tottenham. You know, they were a team that were competing for, for the league. Uh, and we were a team that, you know, when I first started, we were mid-table, mid, mid top 10 and slowly but surely we started you know creeping up they probably started to creep down slightly to a point where we we started to get real close to them and you know that was the first time that we had the opportunity to, to finish above them and and uh, yeah at that point it just felt like you know, it was just our luck you know even further down the line when when we, f we qualified for the Champions League finishing fourth and Chelsea won the Champions League uh, we wasn't able to, to compete in it the next year. That was again something that you just felt could only happen to, to, to us at the time. Yeah, I'm just happy now that we're in a, a place now under Pochettino that uh, you know all that seems to be forgotten about, and and you know we have a manager that that we've been crying out for for, for a long, long time. You know, during my career, there was too much chopping and changing in terms of manager managers to really be able to to. Uh, to kind of st stake a claim uh, of finishing, you know, consistently in the, in the top four or, or winning things because, you know, I think I played under maybe six six managers in 12, 13 years, and it's very difficult to to, to achieve things when you know you have that uh, overall of managers. So I'm just glad now we have a manager that, and, and everyone's on on the same page in terms of the club, the manager, from the top to bottom, and uh, you know we can see the results now. Yeah, is that the do you think the biggest testament to him that he's been able to reverse this mindset and your power team that is expected to finish in the top four? Yeah, yeah, I think that was a big thing, the mentality of the club. And obviously he's, he's a South American, so he's passionate. You know, he's driven, he's driven. Although he's a qu quiet, quiet guy, uh, obviously a really, really nice guy, he's still got that tough, tough streak about him. And, and I think that that has trans translated to the players. Uh, I remember when we lost to Chelsea, or well, we drew with Chelsea actually, when, the year when Leicester won the league and it was for the first time I'd seen the, the team really stand up for themselves. You know, we was almost bullying some of the Chelsea players at the time and, you know, the players let a bit of frustration get to them in terms of, you know, probably let the league slip at that point. But for me, looking at it, I was pleased because for the first time in a long time I'd seen a group of players that, that really were together and cared about trying to win and trying to achieve things. So I knew that at that point that the club were, were in good hands.